Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lusty X channel. This video will introduce a repair instance of a Bosch dishwasher. The video includes the following parts. Fold description. Introduction to the working principle of dishwashers. Failure analysis and repair process which is the deep cleaning for the float and pressure chamber. No part is replaced for this repair. The dishwasher is fixed just by deep cleaning the pressure chamber. The model of the dishwasher is SGV 46M 43GB. This is an UK model. The symptom of failure is more complicated. Sometimes the washing temperature is not high enough. Sometimes the water level is lower than normal. Sometimes the drain pump is always running. Sometimes everything including water ingress, water level and the temperature is normal at the beginning and come to abnormal afterwards. In one case it has been running for more than three hours but when open the door it always shows one minute left. This fault sounds very tricky. It seems there are problems with the water intake, drainage, heater, controller, etc. However, it's very unlikely that all these parts are having problems. Let's briefly have a look how the dishwasher works. Water goes through inlet valve and flow meter into the tub. Then the heater starts to work. Heat the water to the set temperature. Then the recirculation pump starts running. High pressure water are pumping around for the clean process. Finally, turn on the drain pump to drain the dirty water. The entire washing process may require several cleaning cycles, and each cycle may be more complicated than this. This is just a simplified cycle to help us to understand the cleaning cycle. Understanding this basic principle helps to analyze and address the fault. According to the preliminary analysis, the possible failures are controller, inlet flow meter, or pleasure chamber. The Typical controller issues are PCB copper burnout or relay damage. Because the water intake, drainage, and the heater were working fine in different runs, so it can basically eliminate the PCB and the relay failure. Now, let's see if each button is working properly. Press each button. The content displayed on the display conforms to the description of the manual. So the buttons and the display are working fine. I was suspect that the MCU microcontroller unit in the controller might not working properly such as runaway because 
The dishwasher is more than ten years old. The output capacitors may degrade, so the switch power supply inside may not be able to provide low noise power to the MCU. Therefore, the MCU could be easily interfered by the start and stop of the solenoid valve or the motor and caused the MCU running abnormally, which is also known as program runaway. For this case, the controller board seems working fine. Let's disassemble the dishwasher. First, need to cut off the mains power. Remove the trim panel underneath. Remove the wooden front panel for two reasons. One is to avoid getting dirty during repair. The second is that the wooden front panel will block the hand. The wooden front panel was fixed by those four screws. Only those four screws need to be loosed. When I took off the screw, I took a photo for the screw and the position to avoid using the long screws when reassembly. Remove the screws which attach the dishwasher to the kitchen countertop. Lower the left side, right side and the rear feet to reduce the height of the dishwasher. Carefully pull the dishwasher out. Remove the left side panel. Actually, I removed both side panels. Then find out the water distributor is on the left side. So only left side panel needs to be removed. Both side panels are fixed by a plastic clip on the rear, so it's very easy to remove the side panels. This is the water distributor for water ingress and egress. This is the pleasure chamber. It is used to limit the water level for the tub and the bottom cover. This small red rod is used to limit the accumulation of water at the bottom of the dishwasher. If the dishwasher leaks and causes water to accumulate, this red rod will be raised to trigger the limit switch. This red float is used to limit the water level inside the dishwasher. If the internal water level is too high, this float will trigger the limit switch. When the controller receives a signal of excessive water level, it immediately opens the drain pump to drain the water. As you can see, this float is very dirty and there is lots of lime scale and dirty debris. The float cannot move up and down freely. This is the main cause of the dishwasher failure. The float may get stuck at any times during the cleaning phase caused different symptoms. After cleaning the float and the pressure chamber, the dishwasher resume normal operation. Let's see how to clean this float. I used a few sachets of kettle lime scale cleaner. Also a syringe is used. Add D scaler here 
and wait for ten minutes. Move the float up and down to force water to move around. Add water here, then quickly use syringe suck out the water mixed with debris. Repeat the clean process if needed. After tossing for about an hour, suddenly the water in the float container was drained. Turns out that the pipe connecting to the float is open. The pipe was almost blocked. Causes the water could not flow freely into and out from the float container. So the tub water level cannot be detected correctly. Also, it's very dirty here. This should be the reason why the pipe connecting to the float is blocked. The water distributor needs to be removed to clean the pleasure chamber. The three pipes connecting the water inlet and outlet don't need to be removed. Just move out the upper end of the water distributor. Then pull it up a little harder. This is how it looks after the water distributor removed. Use a nylon cable tie to leach into the tube. Agitate and rotate fully to clean the interior. As you can see, it is full of food residue and very dirty. This is the side-by-side -side comparison before and after cleaning. This area is much cleaner than before. The red float is much cleaner here. The pipe to the float is also clean. Although there is still a part of the far end that cannot be cleaned, but it's much better than before. If you can, please also clean the far end pipe. After deep cleaning, the float should work normally for a long time. If you don't want to clean the pleasure chamber, you can directly purchase Bush's original parts. The part number is 00497564. The next step is to put the water distributor back in as it is. Run a washing cycle to test the dishwasher. Make sure that the dishwasher is fixed and full function. Put back the side panel. Push the dishwasher back under the kitchen countertop. Raise the height of the rear foot first. Then raise the height of the left and the right feet. Fix the dishwasher to the kitchen countertop. Install the wooden front door. Put back the button trim panel. The repair work is now finished. I hope this video is helpful. Please click like and subscribe to support me. Thank you.